the fall of Ur. If we go back over the history of the region, we know that nomadic people from the west had always been a nuisance to the Mesopotamian occupiers. The Akkadian king, Shah Kali Shari, certainly had his fair share of problems with these people who were considered to be uncouth by comparison to people of the organised societies of Akkad and Suma. These western peoples were the Amorites, who were still living a very nomadic way of life without the organised, sedentary or agricultural lifestyle of the Mesopotamians. However, the Amorites had always looked upon the Mesopotamian societies as fair pickings. So if there were any spoils to be taken from the fringes, then they would do so. But the reality was that they were never really any kind of serious threat to the region as organised societies of Mesopotamia could easily chase them out. However, something seems to have gone dreadfully wrong for the Neo-Sumerians during the 21st century BCE. One of the sons of Shulgi who ruled as king, whose name was Shu Sin, realised that the Amorite threat was becoming more and more serious and had to construct a wall to specifically aid in repelling the Amorite threat. The Amorites would continue their attacks and quite why the threat was growing larger than ever before is not totally clear. Perhaps the Amorites had become more organised, become larger in numbers or become more technologically advanced. Maybe a drought or a famine had weakened this Neo-Sumerian state. Either way, the, t- the attacks continued into the reign of Shu Sin's son, Ibi Sin. The Amorites appeared to have penetrated the Shu Sin's wall, prompting Ibi Sin to hurriedly construct fortifications at Nippur and the capital city of Ur. However, the empire was fragmenting under the pressure and those cities that had become a part of the area of influence under the great rulers of the third dynasty of Ur were now breaking away and opting to fend for themselves. The Neo-Sumerian Empire was becoming even weaker and it was eventually the Elamites from the east who dealt the killer blow by taking advantage of the weakened city of Ur and moving inwards. Despite Ibi Sin's desperate attempts to strike a deal with the Amorites to save his skin and the remnants of the once great empire, the Elamites were able to capture the king and take him back to Elam, where he ultimately perished. As for the city of Ur, its demise was lamented as follows. O Father Nana, that city into ruins was made. Its people, not potsherds, filled its sides. Its walls were breached, the people grown. In its lofty gates, where they were wont to promenade, dead bodies were lying about. In its boulevards, where the feasts were celebrated, scattered they lay. In all its streets, where they were wont to promenade, dead bodies were lying about. In its places, where the festivities of the land took place, the people lay in heaps. Or, its weak and its strong perished through hunger. Mothers and fathers who did not leave their houses were overcome by fire. The young lying on their mother's laps like fish were carried off by the waters. In the city the wife was abandoned, the son was abandoned, the possessions were scattered about. O Nana, or has been destroyed, its people have been dispersed. 